Hi, I'm Joe from Clinic Sense, and I'm here to talk about payment settings. So let's get started by going to setup and then payment settings. Once there, you'll see that we have three different tabs to work on and that the first tab is called payments. The first option on the first tab is, would you like to use Clinic Sense to invoice clients? And the recommended setting is yes. The reason that recommendation is yes is because you need invoicing active in order to connect your Square account, collect payments, send receipts, and access all of your reporting tools inside of Clinic Sense. You'll get the best experience and most features by activating invoicing, so we highly recommend it. Once you've activated invoicing, you'll see an option here to connect your Square account. Now, this practice is already connected to a Square account, so instead I see the option to connect a Square terminal. Connecting a Square terminal isn't required, it's completely optional, but it's a super useful feature that a lot of folks love. Another super useful feature can be found over here on the Taxes tab. The Taxes tab lets me specify the taxes that are applicable for my practice. I can then apply those taxes to things like services or treatment packages. I already have two taxes here, but I can add another one by clicking the plus button right here. Let's call it something like sales tax. Then we can specify the amount. So let's say something like 7.5 right there. If I accidentally add too many taxes or I no longer need one, I can click the trash can button to remove it from the list. Once I finish my taxes, I can go over to No-Show Guard and make some settings there. No-Show Guard helps me stay safe from late cancellations and no-shows by requiring info from clients before they can book their appointments. By default, it's set to nothing, which means that clients can book freely without giving me any extra info. However, I can easily change that by selecting another option, such as nothing but ask for their credit card. Once I've selected another option, I get the ability to specify whether this applies to new clients or existing clients. I can mix and match these options for the best result for my practice. Another option I have here is to request a deposit from clients before they can book their appointments. Again, I can decide whether or not this applies to new or existing clients, and then I can decide whether or not it's a flat fee or a percentage of service. For example, my cancellation fee is $30, so I could set my flat fee to be $30. Alternatively, I might want to connect, collect a portion of this service, so say something like 25% right there. Lastly, I can specify what happens to this, re this deposit if the cancellation occurs during my cancellation policy. So for example, I have a 24-hour cancellation policy, and if the client canceled within that 24 hours, I have it set to keep deposit as an account credit. That would be applied to their client file and could be used to pay for a cancellation fee or a future purchase. Alternatively, I can tell the system to automatically refund that deposit to the client. Lastly, the final option I have here is to request the full amount of the service. Now, this is super useful because it means that the client doesn't have to pay on their way out the door. They've already paid before the service and they don't have to stop at a payment terminal. I can even prompt for a tip when I'm requiring the payment online so that can be handled and they can just be done with their service. And that's it for payment settings. I hope this video has been super useful for you, but we're always here to help and you can reach out to us at support at clinicsense.com. Thanks so much for your time and have a great one. Bye-bye.